What's up everybody, Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addicted Fishing Television. We got the beaver tail loaded up on the Viking here and that happens to be the Starbright boat. And uh, we got Captain Pete Dornow once again gonna be putting us on some fish and we're going to Chub Cay, which is in the Bahamas. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Y'all come on, check this out. We are heading out. And Chub is the place. Chub is the place, here we come, Chub. We have to be careful of these markers. A lot of idiots run aground here. They go over there, think they want to go to the yacht club, and unfortunately, they don't make it. Say when. Good to go. Rock them. All right, guys, what just happened, we're on our way over to uh, Chub K, and uh, Captain Pete saw a frigate going on, flying around, and sure enough, he was stopped on a weed line right here. We did two casts, one with a live bait, one with the mirror lure at double XL. Come on, reel, reel, reel. Reel. He got over me. Me too. Oh, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> K2 hooked up with a live bait, and as I'm reeling mine in, he, the one he had on his hook came over and ate my uh, mirror lure, so he was definitely an aggressive fish. Oh yeah. And now he's in the well, now he's dinner. He was but, hungry. Uh, sorry for the mayhem, but that's how it goes when you got Captain Pete at the helm. Oh boy, <laughs> watch out. Take off funny. Take off like a puffin. That's awesome. Pygmy sperm whales, first time I've ever seen those. Didn't even know they were in the Atlantic. It shows you how novice I am to this kind of fishing. Some babies in there with them. All right, folks, the situation we got going on right now is we got a slick that's running all the way back to Andros and then all the way up to Chub K where we're staying. There's birds, there's mixed sargasm, floats them in the water, waiting for that bite. Going for mahi. And as you can see, we're sitting here on this beautiful 61-foot Viking that Starbright owns. Captain Kevin Cote there. That's Somebody right. You might remember him from another show previous in the uh, season. He's the one that jumped in and got that beautiful, uh, what was that? Mutton a, snapper. The mutton snapper, brother. <laughs> there was that, a lot of current was, that day. That was awesome. So tell me, have you been here? This is my first time here. Yes, we brought the boat here a couple of times before. When the conditions are right, Blair, we've caught 
a lot of mahi mahi, but we're gonna try to do the same thing on this edge here with the slick and there was some birds and a lot of weeds, scattered weeds. So we're hoping we can catch some here today. Yeah, how can you not catch anything in Andros, right? Oh, we're gonna catch them in the sure. In the pocket. Yeah, we're here. Oh, Blair, get your, get your pilcher, get your pilcher. Pete, neutral, neutral. Catch right there off the port, right under the weeds. Oh, I hope he eats it. Oh, come on. Fish on. Neutral. Oh, the old pilchard works every time. Oh, nice one, Blair. See him jump back there? Yeah. Get this out of your way. See how the eight foot meat yeah, stick does here? It's like a little cow, huh? Yeah, a little one. Tell you what, this year the eight footer has made its debut. We're from Redfish. I wonder if there's any following you. Tarpon, bonefish, permit, and now a dolphin. Mahi, mahi. Swimming straight to the See anything with him? I don't see anything. See anything with him up there? We got color. We got dinner. God, oh, what a beautiful fish. I don't think I can swing this one, Kev. You want to grab the gaff on him? Yep. Right here. You can put it right in his head. Or right I'm in her try. head. Try. Oh! You know who's good. Strike one. Terrible. Strike one. Dolphin one, K20. Yeah, not good. <laughs> I love that one, man. Another drink. <laughs> Not in there, I'm falling. <laughs> that was the toughest fish I've ever seen you gaff, Look, man. Look, I gaffed in the gill the first time. That's why we're so mad at you. Got it. Got her. Is that got to be one of the most beautiful fish That's in the world? Nice one. Does that have the most absolute beautiful colors in that fish or not? It almost makes you don't want to eat them, but they are so good to eat. And we are gonna put that one in the box. K2. Yeah, I'm opening it up right now. We're trying to get some more though. There you go. Nice work, boy. Way to go, brother. <laughs> oh, K2 got him one. <laughs> the whole school's right there. You, know, you see him right back there? Yeah. Here, I'll get that one in. Hey, they don't like them with weeds on them. Blair, what do you use this nice reel for over here in this rod, the setup that I use? Because I think I grabbed one of the smallest ones. <laughs> I think that's a redfish rod. Let me tell you something. I've never caught in a redfish before, but I'll be ready for one after this one. <laughs> I like the setup you have. Oh, nice, Mahi. Such a beautiful fish. You still got him? Yep. Oh my God, Blair, right here. Come bring a bait right here. Look at that, how sick that is. Oh my God, look at that, you got him on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. <laughs> oh. You got him again. No, oh, come on. Look at how nice that fish is. I'm going to let him eat it that time. Did you eat it? Did you eat it? He ate it. <laughs> I'm about to lose this one. Hey, come up shaking like a trout. Can I take this one out? I hope. What if I lose it? Bring yours in, Kev. I'm, look at how I have this guy hooked here. Look at this lasso. Well, get him undone, put another bait on. I'll hold this guy in the water. One thing when you got a dolphin on, especially when you're in schoolies like this, if you hold one really close to the boat like this, you see the others are staying around it. It enables you to basically put them in the box. Still going on. Man, what a pretty fish. 
His back's almost the same color as my rod. Come on, mahi mahi. Let's go, dolphin. You see any more there, Blair? Uh-uh. Looks like dolphin sandwiches tonight, Pete. I think we can swing this guy. Yeah, there's... Oh! Nope. oh! <laughs> hey, we got the best part of him anyway. Right there. Nice big fish. Big snapper. Is it? Mangrove, I think. That ate the tuna? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mutton. <laughs> it's a mutton. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Mutton baby on the oh, Miradine XL. He's hooked now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mutton. Watch him hooks. Nice. And on that note, I think we might stay here and catch a couple more. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah, that's that's so fish. sick. Where's that D hooker right here? Right there in the hole. Watch out. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty crazy on the Miradine XL here. Threw it out, had a little barracuda on about yay big, and the mutton came up and ate the barracuda. Half of what was left when another barracuda ate it. But uh, I think we'll invite that one home for dinner. We're eating this one, for, eating sure. one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice it, work. We'll make your dad's. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make the recipe. We'll figure it recipe. out. We'll give him a call. Oh, that bad boy. Man, that's a pretty fish. <laughs> nice work, Blair. Awesome. That's the way to do it. Right off of Chub K. All right, folks, what we've done, we've changed spots now. We've pulled up on the flat instead of the deep water back there. We kind of gave up on the dolphin and wahoo. It was getting real slow and real boring back there, just trolling and trolling, and I think everybody was about to fall asleep. So we're up on the reef now, just a random part of the reef out here on the Bahama Bank, and uh, we got Kevin Cote there on the other side of the boat doing his live bait deal, and I'm going to try to catch a mutton using a DOA swimming mullet. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I get one. Ooh. You can fill that whole cavity up in there with this Procure. And that's just the uh, Redfish Super Gel, even though we're hopefully gonna catch a mutton. Y'all saw that, I just had it sinking down to the bottom and something ate it. What is it? Something big. I don't think it's a cuda. Nah. <laughs> Anxious to see what it is though. We're just sitting on the bottom, I think it's a, uh, gotta be a big mutton. Think you got another one, huh? I do believe so. I hope so. Kind of fighting like one. <clears throat> there it is, whatever it is. Grouper. Grouper, baby! No, it's a mutton. Big old mutton. Kevin, you got the gaff ready, brother? Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a nice one, Blair. That is a sweet one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I've said it once. I've said it a hundred times on the show. That little bait right there, a DOA swimming mullet. Everywhere I've thrown this bait, I've caught fish. Didn't even expect to catch a mutton on it today, but. Here, take that. I see that sucker. Hold on, let me get this gaff out. Be careful. Hold on, hold on. Got him. 
perfect. Look at this fish in the sun here. Absolutely beautiful. God, that's a nice fish. I tell you what, brother, this ain't a bad way to start day one out of Chub K. We're gonna be eating good for We're gonna sure. be eating good, go ahead. <laughs> nice Look work, Blair. Oh, Let's it's see. looking good in there. Two muttons, two dolphin, and a mangrove snapper. Woo. Can't go wrong with that for dinner tonight, I tell you. <laughs> so Blair, you caught one on the on the mirror lure first. Off of a barracuda. Off of a barracuda, and now you're telling me you just threw in that DOA swimming mullet? Yeah, I don't want to beat up those Meridines too much. And I'm fishing a live bait and I haven't caught in one yet. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. You got one? Yeah, I do, son. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, those things pull when they first eat. <clears throat> Did I just give you a Roland Martin? Son. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice, I don't know if this is a... It's another one. It's not fighting like a mutton. No. But I'm sure it is. <laughs> this one's big. This one's a good one. They're all good. <laughs> Some just better than the others. <laughs> so you're gonna switch to one of these lures instead of that live bait? You bet believe it. Right, right after we're done with this, I'm gonna go there and switch my bait. Oh, that's what was following it. Yeah, you have another one in your bag I can borrow? Yeah, I do. I might even give it to you. Stand on the bottom. There he is. It's a big mutton. Nice mutton <laughs> snapper, baby. Do I get it? Oh. Right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey, you gotta love Chub K or what? <laughs> Look at how big these things are over that here. That is a true mutton snapper there, brother. Wow. <laughs> and I switched out to the uh, to the giant terrorize. I figure I've never caught anything on that giant terrorize just because I've never really thrown it. I figure let's see if we can get a mutton to eat that big old terrorize. Blair, do you think I can get one of these? Because you're catching them all. Sure. I want to at least catch one. I got one for you. Woo! Is that awesome or what? Chub K in the Bahamas. Absolutely beautiful. My personal gaffer, Kevin Cote. <laughs> and our personal boat drivers up there. Greg and Peter Dornow up there driving the boat. Appreciate it, guys. I think we're going to eat good tonight. Well, brother, I think that about wraps it up for today. We had a ball catching those muttons. We got also what? We caught barracuda, strawberry grouper, yellowtail, mahi-mahi, and we had a really good time. We had a really good time. <laughs> We're fixing to park it right up here at the marina at Chub K and uh, go to our little villa. Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. That about wraps it up. We'll see you next week.